Hello everybody, this is Koromas018, and this is going to be my thoughts on Seven Deadly Sins Season 2, Episode 5. Uh, this is a second, like, essentially a second take. Uh, I would have gotten this one up slightly earlier, but I had to sneeze and I didn't want that on camera. Anyway, yeah, things don't go well in this episode for our heroes. Uh, we start off with Bond and the others, and Bond uses his blood to heal King's injuries, because he was... Hang on. Oh, sorry. He was injured pretty badly, and he was probably exhausted after the fight. And Bond essentially threatens that fairy, the assistant to the king or whatever, that essentially he'd kill her if she, he, she tried anything like she did again. And Bond essentially tells King, go on DN. Uh, we've got it from here. And while this is going on, Meliodas and the others are fighting Galen, the truth. And they are clearly outmatched in terms of power levels. Because I think, like, Galen's got, like, 30,000 or something. Or 20-something thousand, somewhere around there. And the others, at the most, have like 3,000. That's not good. Anyway. Yeah, the others start fighting him, and like I said, it's clear that they're really outmatched. And Merlin casts Perfect Cube on Arthur and uh, Elizabeth and Hawk to keep them safe, because she said the demons cannot destroy that thing. So even if the worst should happen, they're safe. And we actually see how strong Galen is, because all he has to do is just swipe his weapon to the side, and he destroys a good portion of Camelot. Which is not good, because that's Arthur's kingdom. And probably tons of people just died. Uh, uh Deanne obviously tries to use her hammer, but he sends it flying against her. Knocks her in the freaking head. Knocks her out. Uh, Galan would have attacked. I can't even remember what the guy's name is. The guy with the mask. But Merlin steps in and tries to persuade him to not attack by offering you know, the demons whatever they want. But she's obviously lying. But the bad thing is that you should never tell a lie in front of Galan the truth. Otherwise you turn to stone and that's exactly what happened to her. She got turned to stone. So she's out of commission. Elizabeth and Arthur can't do a gosh darn thing. Deanne's out of, the, out of commission at the moment. So the only one who can fight. And actually the other guy is ends up getting his butt kicked as well. So the only one who can fight really is Meliodas at this point. And even he has trouble, a lot of trouble with this. He ends up getting his butt kicked and we actually... It looks like he got killed by getting a, taking an axe to the freaking head. But, as we know, in order to actually die, you'd have to be, like, take a damage to the heart with Meliodas, so. Yeah, that didn't, more than likely did not kill him, because he's taken worse hits. Heck, he's gotten his freaking hands cut off, and they've regenerated. Speaking of that, he ends up going into his demon form for a good portion of the fight, but even still, that got overpowered, which says something. And Galen would have finished them off, but Gother had used his abilities to trick him, and Galen leaves. Leaving everybody unconscious except for, like I said, Arthur and Hawk and Elizabeth. And Gother, bud, Gother. Uh, we don't get to see what's going on with Gother at this point, because I think that's where the episode ended. If I end up missing anything, you guys, please let me know in the comment section, because I can't remember everything that happens in every episode. So, I really apologize if I wasn't able to get into the details of the fight, because, like I said, it's been so long since I've watched it, and I highly doubt you guys want me to de uh, describe every detail of every episode. That's kind of boring. But, yeah, I knew they most likely would be outmatched, because they haven't gotten, essentially, a power boost and I don't think they've ever really gotten a power boost. They've just been strong by nature, but 
They're essentially, if they don't get a power boost, they're going to meet their match at the hands of the Ten Commandments. If they actually manage to survive that. And unless Merlin pulls something out of her butt, she's not going to survive being turned to stone. Which she actually does survive. I know that's spoiling it, but that's right at the beginning of the next episode, so yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction, and I will see you all next time.